good morning Earthlings. Hey, I'm in a different spot today. Welcome to the inventor's compound. God brought me home. I'm going to show you how I did this in the fabulous traveling art studio. Well, it's Wilma. <laughs> Oh, good morning, Earthlings. I'm surprised you caught me here. I'm moving. In fact, I'm almost gone. <laughs> really? Remember what my living room looked like just days ago? I got a rabbit in my yard. Cute, huh? Is that cute or what? That's my, that's my neighbor. I got the cutest creatures today. Anyway, here it is now. I had to go. So the problem that I had at the inventor's compound went away. So I'm gonna. I'm going to kind of take over that area. I'm going to see if I can't, like, sublet some of the trailers over there. And maybe make a little bit of money. But in the meantime, I'm really enjoying just being right here. Oh, I love the animals here. I made friends with this tiny little squirrel. And he's up over there looking at me because I gave him some sunflower seeds. I'm going to have to say goodbye to Dan who lives right down the street. See you later. Have fun with that. I will. Thank you. <laughs> what? Why is my house a mess? My house isn't a mess, is it? Oh, I don't think it's messy at all. I don't think this house is messy. Do you? Why would you say that? Okay, I just have a few things on the ground. But, I gotta show you something. Watch this. Look at that. Welcome to the inventor's compound. I'm back home. I'm just hoping that my stellar days will show up. I got something for him. I started out over there. Good morning, Earthlings. Have you ever wondered what it'd be like to take an old trailer and turn it into an art studio? <laughs> no, probably not. But I did. I got this trailer off, free off of Craigslist, and I had a ton of work on it. And I didn't know I was gonna do a video, so all my videos are like this. But I hope you, <laughs> I hope you like it, because I've done a lot of work in here, and I had so much fun, and now, I have a working studio. A little background about me. <laughs> oh. I started there with the gypsy cat. And the gypsy cat decided he wanted to be eaten by an eagle. I saw our gypsy cat, he's gone. Anyway, so he wasn't here to tell you. I moved back, but I'm in a different place. And the problem that I had before, it's gone. So I'm going to be fixing up that place. And this place was one of my old trailers. And now I live in Wilma. 
It's even smaller. But anyway, I have an idea to fix up these trailers and make them into homes for people. And that's what I love doing. So, I'm going to show you how a gypsy makes her living room outside. Ready? <laughs> so, this is my space. And I'm going to put myself so I look out into the forest. And, um, so, my door was put here, right there, and this is where my world is right now. So if you're going to do this, this is the first step, is to figure out where the perimeter of your world is, clean it up, and then begin the process of turning it into a living room. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> this is a butterfly bush that I traded for my art. Oh, wow. One more thing to do. I'm going to put on my prayer shell. You know the routine. I get all my tassels together. You know, these are what the powerful thing is. We have been instructed, it's one of our commandments, to wear these in our garments. You know, my religious tradition of blessing something. I hold the tassels in my hand and I think about I think about my first rabbi who helped me to learn how to love God with all my heart. And I kiss his cheek. And I remember David Yanev. And then Yeshua who gave me and what he did. Anyway, and then I say a little prayer. Baruchatara Nai. Hello, hey, new man. One thing left to do, and that's to bless it. Father, thank you for bringing me home. You brought me home. And you've given me a job to do while I was here. My job is to make these places into places where people can live and feel comfortable and be safe. I've cleaned them out. And I was instructed to come here and do this job. And so, Father, I just, I just thank you, Father, for the work that I've been able to do. And I pray, God, that you will bless these homes and you will bless the work of my hands. 
and I thank you for giving me the blessing. When I first came here, I was sick. I would have died. And God healed me. And now I'm here. So what makes this home to me is that I have all my pretty stuff out. And I know when the sun hits it like this, all of this glass is going to shine. And it's really pretty. Anyway, if you're going to put together a gypsy camp for yourself, if you live the way that I do, just take all the junk from your house and put it outside. If it rots and gets moldy, then you throw it away. We had to get rid of our stuff somewhere. Anyway, I'm so glad to be back here. Until later, <laughs> I'm going to work. <laughs> <laughs>